Hello, my name is John Gill. I am the creator of Harnett County Sheriff's Office Abuse and Brutality Exposed. US, the website. It is also a Facebook group, Harnett County Sheriff's Office Abuse and Brutality Exposed. And you can find the link pinned to my Twitter as well, at J-O-H-N underscore G-I-L-L 1976 on Twitter. I haven't really maintained my Twitter account in a while. I need to, to do a little more work on it, I know. But my Facebook group and website are looking great. Uh, my YouTube channel here is, um, is Harnett County Sheriff Abuse and Brutality Exposed. You know, because you know, YouTube, when you type in the title, it only lets you use so many characters. So I left out the office. But the URL for the website, again, is Harnett County Sheriff's Office Abuse and Brutality Exposed dot U.S. And on YouTube, it's Harnett County Sheriff's Sheriff, Harnett County Sheriff Abuse and Brutality Exposed on YouTube. And I'm making this video today as a presentation to other YouTubers, such as you know, other YouTube channels. Um, I, I found a few out there that, that do similar types of videos in hopes that I'm, I want to present to them why they should promote my channel. Because I noticed you know, some of these other YouTubers that that do videos involving um, civil rights and police issues, such as Lackluster. And I've seen some of the other channels that he's promoted. And here's Lackluster right here. They, do, they promote a lot of videos, okay, where people have intera direct interactions with law enforcement. So my platform is a, is a little bit different than what they normally do. Okay, I'm, I'm, but see, my platform is not just me telling a story, though. Okay, I have... Um, a lot of other work, which I'll get to here soon, but what I wanted to show first was some of the channels that I've seen lackluster promote, such as this one here, NC Tyrant Hunter, North Carolina Tyrant Hunter. Notice, you know, I, I, I was watching some, I looked at some of his videos, and I, I had to look a, a, again a, a second time because I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the, the number of views he's getting. Like that first video there, 40,000 views, 10,000 views, 50,000 views on that one. 24,000 views on that one. There was one in particular I noticed today. This one right here, 151,000 views. And, and in this video, all he really does, I mean, I see what he's doing. He's, he is um, testing law enforcement. Is he heard or not? He's basically testing law enforcement to see if they'll respect his First Amendment rights to film. Okay, I get it. I see what he's doing. But basically all he's doing, he stands in front of you know public places like post offices and police stations, and, and, other, and lots of different facilities, just testing to see if they'll respect his First Amendment rights, okay? Well, apparently he got 151,000 views, and I, I know that he was promoted by Lackluster. I saw a Lackluster video where they, where they promoted NC Tyrant Hunter. That's where I found out about him in the first place. But I, I, see, I think I understand why videos like these get so many. 151K views, if you look at the top left-hand side of the screen there. But look at his title. Cops think I'm stupid enough to admit to committing a crime, but that's not uh, the, the, what I want to focus on in the title is First Amendment audit. Okay, I've seen lots of videos like these um, circulating around YouTube for quite a while now, where they do these so-called you know, First Amendment audits. And I believe what it is, it's a group of um, people in the United States that I believe are members of like the Constitutionalist Party, they're basically, they're constitutionalists. So they go around, there's a, um, I've seen multiple videos like these. There's another one on here I've, I've been trying to get in contact with as well. Direct D. Let me find him as well. I have him on here as well. Um, Direct D, this guy as well. He does similar types of videos. And look, and I don't know if he's been promoted. I think he was also promoted by Lackluster, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not, I don't recall. I know NC Tyrant Hunter was, but Direct D's got quite a following as well. 40,000 views, 67,000 views. And again, it's all people, you know, that have direct interactions. You know, it's, it's, it's videos of people having direct interactions with law enforcement. So it's a little different than what I'm doing. But, for example, NC Tyrant Hunter again. Like... This one down here, 151K views, like I was just showing. And the title. Let me get back to the commercial here. 
And the title. Not my not everybody walks First Amendment Art. Okay, I, that's how I know that that's right there. That's I, I think I figured out. That's how he gets so many views because he's in, you know, the the um, he's a member of a club of people in the United States that are that are constitutionalists that go around basically challenging law enforcement to see if they will respect certain rights. So I'm not a member of that club, but you know I believe in the Constitution, of course. I, and I mean, I believe that they, of course they should obey the Constitution. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's um, I believe in the Bill of Rights. You know, I mean, I, I believe in the First Amendment. You know, I, be, I believe in the Fourth Amendment. Um, the Second Amendment might need some work. <laughs> but, you know, I believe in the Constitution, okay, and we should obey, of course we should obey the Constitution. Now, I'm not a member of the Constitutionalist Party. I do vote Democrat. However, I vote Democrat via absentee ballot, and but I but like I said, I do believe I, I do believe in the Constitution, and I, I just want to show here a little bit of what I'm doing on my channel. It's different. It's not the same thing as what they're doing. But see, my videos here, like th th right this video here, the fir my first opening video you'll see on my channel is the Brandon Bethay murder video here. Um, 4,000 views on that one. This, this recent video I did as well for about, about less than a week ago for the Harnett County Sheriff, uh, Harnett County Sheriff candidate, Reggie Watson. It's got a little over 6,000 views now. That's our last testimonial video I did, um, telling our full story, featuring, um, one of the county commissioner meetings and, and one of my, and my recorded conversation with Harnett County Commissioner Matt Nicole. Um, I, um, that, that's the last video I did recently right there. I encourage everyone to watch that, but at least watch this video here, the Brandon Mathay murder video. This is probably the closest thing I have to the kind of work, um, other YouTubers are doing. Gotta go through the first part of it. Now this is the closest thing I have to what uh, some of the, some to what some of these other YouTubers are doing, and the reason why we don't have more videos like this is because the Harnett County Sheriff's Office works very hard to make sure you know there's no video ever since this incident happened in the Harnett County Jail in 2011. I mean, look at and look at our story, for example. I mean, in, in our incident, the deputies took our video, right, hon? Yeah. I mean, do you remember what happened? When, what happened? You, my wife saw what happened to my video. Go ahead. You want to tell her real quick? Right. Well, one hand, he got my husband's iPhone, and one hand, he got gun, and he pointed to my temple. I, well, what I did, what I did, he got my husband's iPhone. I turn around and say, look, give it to me. And while we do that, while we do that, he, one hand he got my husband's iPhone, and one hand he got gun in my temple. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to kick your ass too. And what was he doing when he said that to you? While he do that, he delete every little thing on my husband's iPhone. Yeah, they, they work really hard to try to make sure there's no video. I mean, there's been multiple other in, known incidents of, of, of j videos from the Harnett County Jail that were subpoenaed by Superior Court judges being edited and altered, such as uh, um, Angela Scarborough's video from 2018. I've done videos covering that as well. But I want everyone to open up watching this video. This is why... The Harnett County Sheriff's Office works so hard as they do to make sure that none of it is on video. Because this is the one of the times here when they actually got caught.
He stands there zapping him for almost a full minute, it seems like. Several seconds. And all these people, look at all the people on the left camera watching. Just watching with glee. Like you see this one blonde female, you see, you're, it already happened. But the, the other female is walking away, and then the other younger female is motioning for her to come back and watch. I mean, this is just sick. I mean, it's just really sick stuff. They have some horrible leadership in the Harn in the Harn County Sheriff's Office. That's uh, one of the, the another reason why I'm doing this. Please vote for Reggie Watson for Harnett County Sheriff. And here's one of the reasons why, right here. And the, re and the, the main, that's the main purpose of my YouTube channel is to show people in Harnett County why they should vote for Reggie Watson. And they leave him like that. And does he look conscious to you, huh? Does no. he look like he's awake? No, he doesn't. Okay, he's clearly unconscious, and they leave him like that. Yeah. And, and, and Detective Toller's a police report about the incident, he, he wrote that Bethay was conscious and alert at the time officers left him. Okay, <laughs> that's obviously a lie, and there's a lot more... A lie. Yeah, there was a lot more lies than that, but please watch this full video to the end. I mean, the, the, it, it gets worse. It gets a lot worse than this even. You know, I want everyone to start off watching this video, the Brandon Bethay murder video. And then after that is this uh, message here from Reggie Watson. I want to feel sure I want. My name is Reginald Watson. Everybody calls me Reggie. I'm a lifetime law enforcement officer with 43 years experience. I retire from the army and retire from the highway truck. I'm with you both. I'm going to feel so that, that's the main reason why I'm doing this and why I'm trying to get my channel promoted because I want to get, you know, see, see how many views I have, 6.8K in that video, 10K in that video, 5.9K in that video, 4.6K there. See, it, it varies depending on where I post it on my website. See, um, I remember when I first started doing this, when I would post videos on my website and then boost my website's SEO, search engine optimization results. Whenever I would boost the search engine optimization, sometimes my videos would get as many as 30,000 views, such as this one here, where um, I promoted for the Young Democrats of Harnett County. Right down here. That video there for Tony and Dolly Griggs got 32,000 videos because when I did that one, I was boosting the SEO of my website. So that one got a lot more views. But I, I don't always boost the SEO on my website because it costs money. So I can't, I'm not going to do it every single month. But I did it enough to, so that now my platform is getting some, so, so is getting a lot of attention. Okay, I mean, like, I haven't done anything. And my videos are still getting, you know, in the neighborhood of between two to 10,000 views, mostly. Anywhere in the neighborhood between one to 10,000 views, usually. I have over a thousand subscribers, and I'm trying to boost that, okay, by getting my channel promoted by another channel like Lackluster that's more famous, or some of these others, even like NC Tyrant Hunter, even like I was just showing. I mean, he's got quite a following. It'd be nice if he would just mention our platform in one of his videos, NC Tyrant Hunter, or Lackluster, or DirectD, or anyone else that does this. But also, please watch the Presumption of Fear series regarding the murder cover-up of Christian Griggs. And, uh, this is a five-part series. There, there's no bullet hole. There's nothing through the window. There's nothing through the, the blinds or screen or anything with would be consistent with that. Griggs had six gunshot wounds. The autopsy shows one of the bullets entered his stomach, one entered his shoulder, and four were in the back. Yeah, the shots in the back, he was laying face down on the porch when he was shot in the back by Pat Chisenhall, by the way. Please watch this full series. And also, please watch um, this video as well, where Tony and Dolly Griggs, his parents, and this, in this video here, Tony and Dolly Griggs discuss the cover-up of their son's murder. So I, I want people to see that as well. Okay, I mean, it's, you see, my platform is, is, is definitely different than what these other YouTubers are doing as far as First Amendment audits and stuff like that goes, obviously, but... 
I mean, we have, I mean, an important message too, and I would like to get promoted. This is Elizabeth Longman here. Elizabeth Longman, P34 Hamilton Road, Bundle. I rise to speak for John Gill and Ron Gill. They were tasered and beaten and... That's my wife and I. She's talking about our story. In this video, she reads our story that was recently covered by Fayetteville Pact. By Hammond County Sheriff's deputies. John Gill and his wife, Ron Gill, were cruelly assaulted by Hammond County Sheriff's deputies in their home on December 25, 2014. To this day, the girls have no justice for, for John being punched in the face and kicked multiple times while laying on the floor, and for his ill wife, who had just been released from the hospital, being cursed at and threatened with violence. The worst thing about the situation, the girls say, is no one will help us. We are victimized, and people treat us like it was somehow our fault. We were just in our house, and the deputies attacked us. No crime was committed. In the midst, soon, in the midst of uh, their recovery, 100 county deputies came to their home with civil process paperwork regarding a pass map in Maryland in a hurry and still... She's talking fast because they only give her three minutes to talk. ...from the traumatic brain injury not, they not had a from the car accident, Gil brushed off the deputy, which he thinks contributed to the assault he later suffered. Yeah, I thought she did really well, actually. Um, please watch this full video as well. I, I, I mean, the, my main highlights of my platform are the Brandon Bethay murder video, the John Livingston murder as well. I have other videos that further cover that regarding Nicholas Gihagas. Um, additionally, you can listen to... Um, where, let me find it. You can listen to another podcast I recopied right here. This is... Uh, a podcast I recopied by Mandy Locke the regarding the murderer. This one's regarding the murderer of John Livingston, Deputy Nicholas Kihagas, who now works for the Pender County Sheriff's Office after he was forced to resign from the Harnett County Sheriff's Office after the John Livingston murder. He was allowed to keep his certification. And then he, was re he resigned from the Harnett County Sheriff's Office in 2015. He was allowed to keep his certification. And then in April of 2019, he was rehired by Sheriff Alan Cutler in the Pender County Sheriff's Office. And he's currently a deputy out there. So we need to vote out Sheriff Cutler as well. Vote for Mike Korn or um, Randy Burton. I uh, I'm still need to see if there are any Democrats running out there. Or if there are any Democrats running in Pender County, vote for them as well. But last time I checked, there's only Republicans running in Pender County. But in Harnett County, it's easy. They have a really good, strong candidate in, in Harnett County running, and that's Reggie Watson, who I've already shown you. But this podcast here is by Mandy Locke, talking about the John Livingston murder and other police abuse issues in Harnett County, because Deputy Kihagas here, he was one of the same deputies, one of three deputies that victimized my wife and I. Now, in, my, in our situation, it was him and Deputy John C. Knight who were the main aggressors. And... And there was additional targeting and harassment from Nick, we received from Nicholas Kihagas as well between the months of November and December of 2014 when I was getting out of the military and recovering from a traumatic brain injury. It's kind of interesting, so I want to share them. If you're just tuning in, here's the deal. A man named John Livingston was shot and killed on the porch of his home on November 15th of last year. The shooter... County Sheriff's Deputy Nick Cahagas. To learn more about all of that, okay, I, there's um, other work I've, I've done as well in here. I cover interviews that Manny Locke did with him personally, like this one. No, uh, from <laughs> Deadly Force. Yeah, I'm so uh, I'll play that again. No, uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, see the taser test screenshots I have posted on the third post of my website, technically the fifth. And I'll go back to my website real quick. But if you scroll down here, Scroll, there's the opening picture and title. Scroll down past our mission statement. 
And then, for example, like click on the first post here, um, introduction for Reggie Watson, and there's a lot more below that. Well, let me just show you this real quick. Scroll here, like for example, this is my, the second one here is my guide post. Now, technically, um, this one's my first one right here. This is my, my first opening introduction. So I, it, I tell people to start counting below. I tell people to go, to go see my, um, the first post, where, um, the one above first. You see above, which is the, the opening post for Reggie Watson. I tell people to see that first. Click on continue reading and then see the first, second, third, fourth, eighth, and twelfth post first. I want people to go to my introduction post first as well. This is one of the... You know, this is where all my highlights are of, from my platform. Okay, that's the opening introduction post. But then, and below that, the second post here is our testimonial videos regarding what happened to my wife and I, as well as more supporting documentation and news articles about what happened to us from News and Observer, from Mandy Locke, as well as Fayetteville Pact. And there's others as well that we've been in. And then right here, this post here, that's the third post, or, or rather technically the fifth post down and you can read his taser test screenshots on there, as well as other federal depositions that I've, I've recovered. And then this post here, the fourth one, right? Yeah, that one's more testimonial videos, more important information about our story. And then down here is the eighth post, the Brandon Bethay murder video. This is where you can find more information more supporting documentation, more news articles, and more evidence, and more information. This is where you can contact the U.S. Department of Justice and FBI. Um, these are more news articles about the Brandon Bethay murder, and there, there's the. Uh, this is the federal deposition transcript for Detective Toller, as well as John Clark, where he takes the Fifth Amendment to everything including when he was asked about filing a workman's compensation for injuries he claimed to have received during a struggle with Brandon Bethea. But as you can see in the video, there was clearly no struggle. And then to go back to other posts, scroll back up to the top. Oops, I passed it, didn't I? I think I passed it. And click on all posts. And now take it back to the, my main website. And when you click on the, the introduction for Reggie Watson, this is what you'll see first. But uh, as far as those taser test screenshots, you can see that according to the taser test screenshots, he was not zapped by his own taser as he claimed, which he claimed was his justification for murdering John Livingston, who was an unarmed man in his house at 3 o'clock in the morning, and Nicholas Kihagas entered his house without a warrant, just barged in. So my main highlights are the John Livingston murder, the Brandon Bethay murder and, Christian, and the Christian Griggs murder, as well as our story of my wife and I, as far as what happened to us, and, as, and many others that I'm presenting on my website, such as Angela Scarborough, and there's been several victims. But on the opening post of my website, this is what you'll see. This first video, that's the opening introduction video for Reggie Watson. That's his video where he introduces himself. You just click on that. Okay, sometimes the, when I have it plugged in, I, I, the sound went off, but that's okay. I, you already heard part of it on YouTube. You scroll down past that, and there's the, the opening Brandon Bethay murder video. There's our testimonial video there. My recorded phone call with Harnett County Commissioner Matt Nicole, where he talks about how Wayne Coates is going to be a one-term sheriff. Some more introduction videos and Mandy Locke's podcast. And my introduction video that's an hour and 52 minutes, it's long, but that's actually a really good video that I did. Please watch our introduction video. I'll go back to that here in a second on YouTube. There's another testimonial video we did, and another one. And that's the video where, Aunt, where um, Elizabeth Longman speaks up for us at the Harnett County Commissioner's meeting. Another podcast I did. And there's a lot more. There's a Brandon Bethay murder video. And there's other, there's other work I've done on the first opening post. Oh, yeah, and also 
The twelfth post below, I said go see the first, second, um, fourth, and eighth post first, and twelfth post first. So if you go down and click on the twelfth post, which I'll go through real quick. Nine, 10, 11, 12. This one here is all about Kristen Griggs. That's Tony and Dolly Griggs video again where they discuss the cover up of their son's murder, as well as the five part presumption of fear series. And you can also click on the link tree here and after you, if you click on any external links for news articles or anything else, just click the back button when you're done to come back to my website. But this link here will take you to the link tree where you can sign the petition for Christian Griggs or you can donate to the GoFundMe for his family. That goes directly to them. You can watch, and that's where the Presumption of Fear series is also. You can also find it there. And you can just click the back button here and go right back to my website. And that post there is all about Christian Griggs. It was all dedicated to him, to him only. I also have their videos in my opening post as well. But they have I have several posts on here that are dedicated to Christian Griggs and Brandon Bethay only. And the reason why there's redundant posts is because the way this, the blog website is broken down, it gets the videos out over the internet a lot more, and it boosts the algorithm, and it allows my videos to get a lot more views. But like I was saying, the reason why I'm doing this video, this advertisement video, is I'm trying to appeal to other YouTube YouTubers like Lackluster specifically, or even this other guy here, NC Tyrant Hunter. You know, because just because he does have a big following, if I could get someone like him or Lackluster, even specifically Lackluster, if I could get him to just simply mention us briefly in a video, you know, our our views could go up like his as well, possibly. Because you see his views right here on for Lackluster. See, he just po posted that one 12 hours ago, and it's already over 12,000 views. Or 17 hours ago, and it's already over 12,000 views. That one a day ago, and it's up to 144,000 views. That's, un that's amazing. And it's just someone that's standing there, you know, I'm filming um, the police, you know, I'm a poli uh, the, filming a traffic stop or something, or at the scene of a crime or something, filming it, and then the police, they don't like people standing there filming, so of course they have to get in people's faces and get rude. And, but they do, some, they do some really good videos, and they promote a lot of other channels. And if we could just get them to talk about my channel in a short video, I think these views could go up as well. See, my views are like 4,000 views in that one again, you know, 10,000 on that one. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of done on this channel. And again, the reason why I'm trying to promote my channel is we're trying to um, trying to boost the algorithm and get the, get this information out to more people just to show to make sure I want to make sure people in North Carolina see this and see why we need justice. Also, so we can get people to appeal to the governor, as w the governor of North Carolina, um, Governor Roy Cooper, as well as Josh Stein, trying to encourage people to appeal to the governor and the attorney general of North Carolina, as well as the, the, the United States Department of Justice and the FBI to do something, to open, invest to open an investigation into this. Because to this day, for example, these people have not been prosecuted for this murder. And these all these people... <sighs> All still work there. The, the, the uh, John Clark, I remember him too when I was in their jail back in 2014. Okay, I remember him still working there. All these, none of these people have been prosecuted to this day. So that's why I'm trying to promote my channel, you know, to get people to encourage the Department of Justice as well, the federal department, the I'm sorry, the United States Department of Justice as well as the North Carolina Department of Justice and the governor to do something to investigate this and prosecute these murderers because the local district attorney right here, Susan Matthews, refuses to prosecute him. The former DA was Vernon Stewart, 
who was who didn't seek re-election in 2020, and she endorsed, and he endorsed. That's Vernon Stewart there with his wife, Judge Karen Stewart, who was also a judge presiding over the same courtroom where he was the DA. Um, he did not seek re-election in 2020, and he endorsed Susan Matthews to run. And she still is carrying on the same corrupt policies that her boss, her former boss, Vernon Stewart, was. The same as Wayne Coates here, carrying on the former, carrying on all the same corrupt practices that his former boss, Sheriff Larry Rollins, um, carried out. All he's doing is he's continuing this. All he's doing, all Susan Matthews and, Ver and Wayne Coates are doing is they're carrying out the same corrupt po policies as their former bosses. See, Wayne Coates here, he was appointed sheriff in 2016 by the county commissioners after Larry Rollins resigned in disgrace. And then he was elected in 2018. So this is only his first term. And so not only are we trying to get justice, but we're also, it's also an election year, and we have a good, strong candidate right here by the name of Reggie Watson. And I also want to promote my channel to help show people why they should vote for Reggie Watson for Harnett County Sheriff. So I'm asking, you know, all you know, YouTubers out there with a big following, please promote my channel. Um, again, it's my my specific channel is Harnett is Harnett County Sheriff Abuse and Brutality Exposed. Please just mention us in a video and tell people to come to my channel and w subscribe, watch our videos because we have an important message and there's a good reason for it. So, thank you.